hey friend welcome back to my youtube channel web scrapping service again and in this second part of the web scrapping tutorial with the outwit hub i'll show you how to scrap the data more specifically okay so you will if you have not watched my previous video you will you please watch my previous video from the video description uh, i will give the video link in my video description and you will get everything from the first <coughs> first video and in the first video i have uh, show you the basic of uh, scrapping with the audit hub and you will get the software with this link uh, with this link i will also give that link to my uh, video description i will also give that link in my video description so friend if you watch the first video then you will get all the resource and all details about the web scrapping with outwit hub okay so in the next in this video i will show you the some more advanced feature of outwit hub so that you can get your data more specifically and more confidently and more accurately okay so this is the audit hub we just uh, get our uh, audit hub here and i have already show all the details how we can get this one and if you click on here execute and if you click on here execute you see, you see that the city and country are in one column and the coordinate of latitude and longitude are in one column same column okay so and if you watch this you see that the you see that there is the flag this is the image and we also need the continent asia south america and europe okay so to get all this data from this website we will we will do some more thing in our scraper okay so this is i i am now uh, i am now explaining everything in details okay so here you see that we get the city and the city and country in one column but in that if you notice that the shanghai is the city and country is separate this is there is a comma between the city and the country also if you um, notice that there is a comma between the latitude and longitude of the coordinate so so i just want to separate the city and country and also the latitude and longitude in two separate column to separate them i have to do some um, i have to do some coding in uh, my scraper so here you see that this is the city and in the city i just want to use a separator so our separator is comma okay and in that section list of level we have to put uh, the separate column name so our first column is city so i just write the city and as the separator is comma so i just give the comma and in the next column which will generate for our country so i will give the name of that column is country okay after that just click on here save and in the same way we will use the separator of comma in the for the coordinate section and in that section i will write the latitude the latitude and the comma and the longitude okay longitude after that just click on here save when you do this here and to test the result is okay or not just click on here save and just click on here execute when you click on here execute you see that the city and country is separated also the latitude and the longitude are also separated so friend now you see that the data we have get more specifically the city country latitude or longitude all are separated now we need to collect the image that means the flag for that we have to do that 
the flag is the uh, <coughs> this is uh, okay uh, sorry okay so you see that the flag this is just a image here so if i open this image this is just to uh, make everything clear to you okay so if i open image in new tab you see that this is a url so to get the image we just need the image url okay so to we just need the image url to get the image url we again go to the scraper and in that section here and in that section you see that i am just uh, trying to find the image url here you see that this is the image url so this is the image url so we need to get the image url so i just want to get the image url so i just want to get here the image this is the image url but this is the partiality this is just a partial parts of the image url so i will do uh, some technique here okay so please follow this video tutorial very attentively otherwise you will not understand what i am trying to uh, show you okay so to get the partial url i just copy this one you see that i just copy these parts from list of that image url i just copy this one and i just paste it here marker before and <coughs> here i just this one the double quotation dot sbz i just copy this one double quotation and just click on here save and here i just want to write the flag this is the flag <coughs> okay click on save now i want to show you what we have scraped just click on here execute and when you click on execute and when you click on execute you see that we get the partial view of the email address here you see that and some more problem is happening here have you noticed that you see that this row is empty again and again with you see that this is this row and the cell of that flag column this is also empty so this is some problem as the data is not the separate here the here the uh, country the country is india but here the city and country is china so this is creating some problem so we have to solve this problem but now i am showing you how to solve this one okay as you see that if you this one here see that the image url that means the flag is the first the the url position is the first place then the city and then the country so we have to maintain this while we scrapping for this you know that just this url of flag here this url of flag just drag this one and just when you uh, you see that i just drag the flag from bottom to the top and just click on here save and just click on here execute when you click on execute you see that our first problem is successfully solved okay you see that our first problem is solved but the second problem is that we get only the partial link of the image so i am showing you that if you open this one i just get this part you see that i just get I just get this parts from the English, but we also need this parts we also need this parts to get the full image link to, to get this image link we have to do some other thing and this will be easily we get here and in the replace button here just in the replace button we have to put the base URL base url and hash and backslash zero this is the coding to get the <coughs> base url and after that just click on here execute when you click on execute you see that we get the full url 
okay so this way we can easily solve this problem now we need to get <coughs> so we get the image URL that means the flag URL <coughs> we get the city and we get the country every data we get successfully but we only need this data this is the continent so still we missing the continent to get the continent here we have to now get the continent and the continent we will be get here here the continent you see that we get the continent here and just this uh, take the marker before the continent control C and here just paste it here and in that section just write okay I just need this one okay this one we just need and here we just need the continent when we put this one to check this one it is uh, okay or not then just click on here set as I am doing I think you are a preliminary student so I am doing everything in details and step by step to show you the execute button uh, per, uh, per uh, taking the marker here but if you are expert you do not need to test the data frequently you do all these things at a time and after completing all the scraper setting then you can click on here execute to check your data but as I hope you are in new in Outwit Hub, so I am just doing it uh, frequently. So please do not mind, and I am just trying to uh, explain everything in detail so that you can easily capture the Outwit Hub uh, program. And if you need this service, you can contact me, or if you want to buy the Outwit Hub, you can also contact me. If you buy the Outwit Hub through me, you will get some more advanced feature and you will get some good su support from me okay so please keep in mind after that just click on here execute when you click on here execute you see that again some problem is happening here we get the Asia for only one and this data is totally missing and here we get you see that there are some problem but we also but we want to get the continent for all the country and if you see this one and you see that this under the Asia continent we get the eight country but here if you notice that there are some problem okay so there are some problems so to solve this problem we have to again do something here so we just write and we just write another thing just here write hash and the repeat we have to write the hash and repeat and again hash this is the coding for repeat and just click on here save and again click on here execute when you click on here execute you see that everything so the Asia here the Asia is for the eight country and the South America is for the three country and all are in the very good format and in the very good accurately we have scraped the data now we can do you can just control c to copy the data and you can download this data and you can you can also uh, export this data uh, here i just always choose the csv just click on here export and again i want to get the data here and um, how do it have basic no it is not basic it is just the advanced feature so it is just advanced advanced and just click on here save and if you go to here and you see that uh, I'm sorry uh, if you just uh, go to here and I am showing you the details the showing if you go to the here and you see that how to it have advanced as I download the data here and in the report you see that we get all data very accurately and very easily and very specifically just copy if you I just want to show you the proof 
just copy this one and if you just copy this one i just want to paste it here paste it here to show you the image and you see that i got the i got the url of that uh, country and of that uh, flag of that country so friend this is the tutorial and this is the process through this is the process uh, uh, this is the process of the scraping data from any a uh, modern website through the auto it hub uh, i have tried my best to explain in this video so if you want to get this tutorial you can easily get this tutorial from this website i will give the link of that website in my video description and you can buy this software from here or if you want to buy this software with uh, from me with my my reference then you will get some good support always the life support from me and you will get some more uh, something more okay so and if you think this video is something helpful for me please uh, support you please feel always pray for me and subscribe my youtube channel and share this video to your facebook and other social media so that all other people can also learn this and if they need they can also buy this software and anything okay so friends this is just everything this is uh, the everything i just wanted to make explain in this video i hope i am not capable to make everything in clear although if you have any question please comment on my video so that i can show you more video about how to it have in my next session please take care and pray for me bye